guys, Kirk from Force Induction NHL is here. I want to introduce you to our C7 plug and play kit. So we're using all CNC fittings here. We pre-make all of the hoses for you guys. Every kit comes with stickers, free t-shirt, most importantly a USB stick. On here you have all the instructions, video instructions to follow along and install this. It's really easy to install. And what we've got here is our solenoid and our switch. What this does this solenoid allows you to cut off refrigerant flow to the cabin. So you can go into cabin and chiller mode or chiller only mode. In chiller only mode, you'll use that in winter time or when you're racing and you'll get colder. Today, it was 90 degrees and it was about 75% humidity. We got this with our stage two kit down to a 27 degree fluid temperature, which is really impressive. Now here on our chiller core, we use all proper AN12 male water ports. So we offer you optional AN12 full flow 90 degree push lock. So three quarter inch hose will just push onto that. These are optional because you guys might want to run braided hose or you could just use those for rubber. As you can see, all the hoses are pre-made for you guys. We also have our LT4 spacers, which includes a PCV extension, bolts and a thermal blanket. This is separate to the chiller, but a really good supporting product. These plates and blanket will lower that blower running temperature by about 30 to 40 degrees. We're really happy with this kit. It bolts on very easily, stage one and two, especially here in Texas heat, you really need the stage two kit. And uh, we really hope you guys like it. All right guys, 50 miles an hour, 91, 92 degree day, 75% humidity, and our vent temperature is at 46 degrees and falling. It's actually getting so cold in here that it's cycling. You'll see here in a second. So when the cabin evaporator hits 37 degrees, it'll actually cycle off the AC and go up a touch in temperature. So very, very nice and cold with our stage two kit here on the C7. It's extremely humid outside. Careful, you can see the humidity, possibly. I can definitely see. All right guys, 92 degree day. Chiller only mode. You can see the IATs here. You can also see how quickly that recovered as well because it's running the dedicated motorsports tank that's the engine bay tank so really really fast recovery okay the key to keeping cold is to run a nice nice size tank like this and if we have a look here at the blower you have 50 degree temperature there on the blower that's the key to keeping cold is to run fluid volume the chiller's job is to make this tank cold and then that fluid volume is going to keep you cold while you're under water from throttle. So that temperature there, where it got to 123 manifold air temp, you know, normally that's going to go to 160-ish, maybe maybe even 170 on this particular car, the customer said. Um, like I said, it is an extremely hot day today with the humidity as well, making it feel even hotter.